I'm Sean Bannigan, and I'm 14 years old. What do people not know about you that they should know? Maybe that I actually survived cancer. Today is a special day for Sean. We're going to San Francisco to UCSF. We're going to have a lot of things to do. He's going to have a bone marrow aspirate and get some specimen from his bone marrow to see how the cancer cells doing, if he's cancer pre. I'm nervous, but you're not. Are you? Yeah. All right, ready? He's just a tough kid. He never complained, even on the really rough days. He never complained. He was just one of those kids that was incredibly stoic and incredibly strong. Back in 2012, before his eighth birthday, he's having this fever back and forth for almost a week now. Fever doesn't go away, and he's covered with his sheets, and suddenly my husband just um, removed the sheets, and we've seen all the bruises all over his body. I'm a nurse, so I know there's something wrong. Cancer came to my mind. It's the worst news a parent could receive. It's cancer. So Sean had um, pre-B acute lymphoblastic leukemia. That is the most common kind of cancer in children. He's a really unfortunate kid that had a very aggressive leukemia. He relapsed on therapy. He had had a transplant. His leukemia came roaring back very shortly after that transplant. His disease was very chemotherapy resistant. His leukemia cells had really figured out how to get around every chemotherapy we had thrown at them. So we learned that his cancer came back and he was hospitalized in January. We were crushed again by the news. We were both crying, 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 crying. And then I told him we have to stop before we enter the room, you know, for Sean to, see, to put up a brave face for him. At some points I was worried, but you know, I just felt like I was just another day in this regular thing you know, so. So the idea was to try to get him into a deep remission using CAR T cells as a novel approach. T cells are a cell that's in our immune system whose job it is to fight infection. And essentially what CAR T cells are, are T cells that have been engineered to do their normal job only a little bit better. And so we take the T cells out of the body doing a process called leukophoresis. And then we send those cells to a laboratory where they add very strong receptors to the T cell to make a really strong response to a cancer cell. We then infuse them into the patient after they've received some chemotherapy and wait for the magic to happen. The CAR T cells will start to hopefully recognize the leukemia cells and grow and divide and make more of themselves until hopefully they've killed every last leukemia cell. Sean and his family were willing to take the leap of faith to, to do this and to enroll in a clinical trial. He was our first patient that we treated at UCSF. I was like, oh my God, this is the best gift ever, because uh, given the fact that it's something new but it's promising. It's like a breakthrough, but for us it's uh... It's like a divine intervention because we felt that we're running out of time. Soon after that he went into the CAR T cell, we have this kind of feeling that Sean's gonna make it. What was really remarkable was watching his leukemia numbers just go down, down, down. And we you know, did that marrow at the end of 28 days of like, there's no leukemia cells by our most sensitive tests that you know, can t detect you know, literally one in a million leukemia cells, and he had zero. Amazing, because you know, after six years of having, <laughs> having in and out of the hospital and receiving some you know, good news and bad news, so it was a relief that, you know, finally, finally, um, this works. If we hadn't had a novel therapy like CAR T cells, I think his time would have been very, very short. What's your GPA right now? I don't know exactly, but it's in the 3.5 to 3.9. What's your favorite thing in school? I like my tech class. When he started school, and oh, I'm gonna get emotional, 
At the beginning of eighth grade, mom sent me a picture of the first day of school. And those are the, the, the moments of why doing this job is so much fun and such a privilege. We never thought that day is gonna happen, you know, able to go back to school. But seeing him go back to school is like a gift. And now he's doing the hard stuff, he's doing PE. I am very proud of him, of uh, what he has accomplished through all the things that he's been through, for being a strong boy and for being um, hopeful every time, you know. Very positive, a loving brother to his brother and sister. Every single day, doctors and researchers are working on something to make treatment better, especially for leukemia, for cancer. In terms of Sean and his family, they very much paved the way for all the kids that have come afterwards. And I think for that, I'm going to always be eternally grateful.